Hey guys, how's it going? Eminem Gaming here, and today we're back with another video. And today, uh, this is sort of a mini series sort of thing I'm doing on my channel, uh, where I just talk about um, games, the trophies in games I'm particularly excited for, um, and games that you know I think are really easy, um, really difficult, um, you know all that sort of stuff it's going to be a mini series it's not going to be like every single game but it's going to be like the games i'm particularly interested in the first one i thought what better game ratchet and clank today the trophies have been live or leaked or whatever so let's talk about it um and i'll give you my opinion on stuff you know uh what i'll do though is just um i'm not going to spoil it so when i read the thing if it's a story related trophy i'll say story related trophy uh, so I'm not going to spoil it for you. The Hero of Heroes. Collect every trophy in the game for the Platinum Trophy. Um, and I will say, guys. Uh, one, this is from Exophase. So obviously go check out Exophase. I mean, if you're interested in trophies, they're the best place to go. Um, the Hero of Heroes, yeah. And they have beautiful, I think anyway, beautiful trophy art. I mean, not many people care. I do. So <laughs> I think that's awesome. Um, story related trophy gold for beating the game um, uh, so next one super trader complete every hollow card set so um, I've seen these hollow cards and I think you get a lot of them for just continuing through the story it'll be interesting if you get them all just for beating the game uh, or you've got to sort of um, find them around the map you know side quests and that sort of stuff um, so yeah that's going to be interesting a collectible trophy i guess um yeah shouldn't be too hard though uh challenging uh complete the game on challenge mode now it's going to be interesting how they do this is this challenge mode sort of like um i guess um how they did in cracking time where you beat the game first to unlock challenging because that'd be awesome because that'd give me again another reason to go through the game a second time uh or is it a case of it's unlocked from the start so you can get platinum in one sitting um be interesting to see uh but bear in mind again ratchet and clank's more of a kid game not, not that there's anything wrong with that i love ratchet and clank but the the difficulty ain't exactly hard you know what i'm saying so um that should be pretty easy uh ultimate explorer collect every gold bolt um yeah f uh use ps4 trophies um and he'll show you where these are. That's what I'm going to do. Um, full gun rack. Acquire every weapon in the game. Again, you may need a trophy guide just to find like some... Maybe there's like hidden ones or, you know, whatever. You might have to do a few things uh, to, to unlock them. Uh, but a lot of them are going to be unlocked through in-game. Master of War. Upgrade every weapon to maximum level. Again, that may take a little bit of grinding. Maybe a second playthrough. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, these go to 11. Unlock every modica modification for every weapon. That's going to be pretty cool. Because if you didn't know. Ratchet and Clank's famous. For it's over the top. Um, you know weapons. So that's going to be cool. To have all these modifications. Uh, Mr. Fancy Pants. Upgrade Ratchet's health to maximum level. Now hopefully you can do that. And then unlock challenging mode. That will probably make it a lot easier. Um, tech head acquire every gadget again you may need a, a trophy guide for that abby normal collect ellie every sorry telepathopus brain now that sounds pretty terrifying but <laughs> uh yeah it doesn't seem too hard um and this is tracked bear in mind i don't think too many people have got the game but it's a hundred percent completion so that's what it is um go speed ratchet go Win the Gold Cup on both Rilgar and Calibu. Now, I know these these um, hoverboard. I friggin' hated them. You know what I mean? Not that they were bad. It's that I just was terrible at them. So I may have to, you know, search a few guides for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, awesome. You know, to see uh, Safe Cracker. Now, I will just put a claim here. I think this is a missable trophy. So keep that in mind uh, if you're writing down these trophies. This is one to keep an eye out for. Um, complete every trespasser puzzle without using auto hack. So I think it's going to be pretty easy, but just 
do not use auto hack at all uh, and you'll get this trophy uh, maximizing potential upgrade one weapon to maximum level you've got to do it for every weapon so you know that's not too bad uh, basically training complete the range of tryouts on Veldin um, that's a very start of one um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 um, story related trophies which are bronze um, so yeah you know bear that in mind um, sorry 12 sorry um, radical win the hoverboard bronze cup on Calibu now bear in mind you've got to win it on gold for both of them so you know you're going to get that anyway on the road to platinum uh, faster than a speed in a me boyd <laughs> um, complete the hoverboard gold cup on real guard in under 1 minute 35 so hopefully there's a little glitch for that or whatever because I know I suck at that sort of stuff um, Calibu Thunder uh, complete the hoverboard gold cup on Calibu in under 2 minutes and 5 seconds um, Gerwan Gladiator complete the fitness curse course sorry on Gerwan in under 70 seconds um, Clank Crusher Crush five gadget bots in the Crusher on Katuritu. I, I am butchering these names, guys. They can't just put an easy name for me. Um, that sinking feeling, not to knock a construct bot into the quicksand on Aridia. Uh, that should be pretty easy. Um, I hate lamp. <laughs> you know, great English there. You know what I mean? I hate lamp. Uh, break every lamp in Illyro City. Uh, that should be pretty easy. You need a lot of bolts to buy these weapons. You're probably going to do it anyway. Um, not my job. Allow the extreme bots to kill 35 Amoeboids in Rilgar. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> you know, that should be pretty easy. Defeat 40 enemies while jetpacking in Gazbar. Uh, when sheep fly, sheepinate. <laughs> oh, yes. I can't wait to do that. Sheepinate. Sheepinate a Blarg helicopter commander. Water bots into plowshares. Destroy 10 inactive war bots inside the Kataru 2. I don't have to say that name. Factory. Uh, pool sharks are the worst. Get eaten by a pool shark in the Pocketeru Aru Ocean. Again, guys, I'm butchering these names, but that should be pretty easy. Just jump into the sea or whatnot. Uh, character assassination. Destroy all of the planet models in Drex office et to to commerce I I can't say that I cannot say that guys find quarks lounge on the deplanetizer lazy lombax ride every cat catwalk without moving in Kalibo that's going to be a missable trophy so literally you probably just stand still um death by disco now this is going to be an interesting one this may be a difficult trophy um, use the Groovatron on every type of enemy. Um, I know it doesn't sound hard, but just basically it's remembering to do that. Uh, and yeah, just make sure you're stocked up on Groovatron ammo um, for that. Trader in training, complete your first holo card set. Bear in mind you have to complete them all. Um, modder, complete your first rare retanium weapon mod. Now that's awesome. I love the rare retanium like mods and all that and you've got to get all the mods anyway so bear that in mind uh cha-ching reach the maximum bolt multiplier in challenge mode um so yeah that's awesome uh shouldn't be too hard trade up trade in a set of duplicate holo cards for a new one that shouldn't be too difficult and guys not a bad trophy list i'm gonna rate this out of 10 uh, in terms of difficulty um I give it a three out of ten. Uh, I think three to four out of ten, uh, depending on if you know we've got to go through the game twice, whatnot, um, difficulty depending, and all that sort of stuff, uh, and whether you use a guide. But it seems pretty straightforward. A few missable trophies just to keep an eye on, maybe write down somewhere, and just to remember why you're playing. Like use the Groovatron. Don't hack this. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, stand still on the the escalators or whatever 
But yeah, guys, uh, this has been Eminem Gaming. I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know, do you enjoy these? Me just talking about trophies? Uh, you know, I won't do it for obviously every game, but just games I'm particularly excited for. And would you prefer me to actually talk about the boss trophies or how I did it in this? Like, just, uh, just say there's this many, you know, trophies related to in-game stuff. But as always, like I said guys, this has been Eminem Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you guys in a new video.